To say that Gaines is a safe player is kind of an... Like, he's not really all that safe. He does a lot of very, like, normal Diddy things. But in terms of him... Like, I saw in, in his play there, he was very safe. Yeah. But yeah, all right. So, so this next match... Yeah. Kitty Kong, Heldu. We got Kitty Gan Kong the Gorn. And, and we have the Diddy Kong from Kitty Kong. Nice. Ho hope you don't mess that up. And we are going to Lilac. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited about so, this. In terms of the stage here, I don't really see who it will more favor. Because the issue is, is um, which character can cover, cover those platforms, but which character can also take advantage of the curve of the stage more. I was really afraid that Heldu was about to get Lilad because yeah. he went through it, but uh, managing ah. to uh, avoid the jank. Yeah, I think the thing, character-wise though, I would say Katie Kong has a lot of core in practice with the uh, newly ranked number 10 on our PR, uh, Let's Tickle. Yeah. But uh, Heldu can uh, definitely get some daily practice from from uh, Black Twins, from Yo, perhaps Ooh. even from Chris. Yeah, I, you know what? I think, like... But right now, Kitty Kong is showing great dominance. Yeah. Showing a lot of awareness, too, for a lot of, like, the coring things. Because, like, he knows exactly the, like, the correct spacing and correct timings uh, to deal with a lot of coring things, so... Ooh. Up smash. Again, like you were saying, practicing with uh, Let's Tickle probably helping him out. Yeah. Definitely, because Let's Tickle being, being number 10 is no slouch. No, for sure. Kitty Kong is just trying to find this kill here. I feel like, oh, he, yeah, he was looking for an air dodge read there. Should have gone. Yeah, it, it definitely seems like, oh man. If, if I was Kitty Kong here, I would definitely focus on doing those kill confirms. Yeah. Like ASAP. Right it now. It seems like what Kitty Kong's doing is more still in like a spacing mindset. Like relying on a lot of fares and whatnot. Is that? That's not, oh my goodness! No. That killed. I. Would've. It's close though. Yeah, that that was too close for oh my life personally. He's definitely running with uh, with rage Corrin here, and that up air is very scary from Corrin. Ah oh, boy. But he just can't seem to get in. He can't yeah. seem to like. He gets that one hit leading in, but Eldu is just too far afterwards. Maybe that perhaps that's Lila. Yeah. That up there is gonna do it. Yeah, with max rage. Maybe it's it's really hard to say. Um, right now, Eldu has the banana. But uh, I feel like Kitty Kong's gonna change that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think the rest of the match is kind of gonna look like uh, Kitty Kong playing more patiently while Heldu tries to go in more. Yeah. Because it seems like that's kind of what happened in uh, the first stock, and Heldu won. Um, so I think that like Kitty Kong's definitely gonna try to not uh, uh, be as, you know, actually, just as I'm saying that, he's throwing out these great fares. Yeah. He has held you very flustered here because he nice. like he could not get back on stage. Nice use of side B. And Kitty Kong, I was gonna mention it before, but we got caught up talking about other stuff. He knows very well how to avoid the um, the down throw converts. He knows that you always DI out, always. Yeah. Oh, that's Excellent gonna do smash. it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That. Wow. That was that was good. That was great stuff. I'm quite impressed, actually. Kitty Kong, like, showing mm -hmm. in that last stock quite a bit of dominance. I was yeah. pretty taken aback by that. Mm -hmm. Even look, if you see deep in the background, you can see Chris Fish giving a, giving a solid yawn. I was going to say he was, like, he was having, like, a proud smile of, like, yeah, someone, yeah, someone doing great with my character. <laughs> yep. It's always funny because I see, like, Krim Foish being, like, the kind of like granddad of Diddy. <laughs> and like when you get the Chris Fish approval, it's like, yeah, my Diddy's good now. It's like, yeah, I'm I have been validated. Yeah, like But yeah. Chris Fish definitely uh definitely that figure that everybody likes, the uh the homie. The the, the homie. The homie. Kitty Kong having a tr ha having a drink. Yeah. Um maybe that left. Hoping that hoping not to get rinsed. Yeah. I think Heldu here is going to... Okay, so he's staying corn. We're going game two on Battlefield. Yeah. I think Heldu really has to focus on uh, using Corrin's uh, better spacing tools because I think I, I think we're seeing here, uh, here, Kitty Kong exploit like little, like very close quarters things like this. Ooh. That was, that was, that was very cheeky. Um, but I was going to say, I feel that the issue here is that 
I ha I'm not sure about the matchup, uh, like, ratio or, like, my opinion on it, slight advantage. But here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. Corrin is definitely... Corrin on the ground has Instapin, which is a very good tool. And um, it's definitely something to be feared. Other than that, Corrin is mainly a character that juggles other characters... That juggles and has... Uh, and, like, combos. The issue is you can't juggle Diddy very easily because of that monkey flip, because of those B-reverses. Yeah. Because normally, well, if, if he didn't have that, he has very mediocre airspeed to be actually. For sure. But with those options, he can evade a lot of stuff very easily. Oh man, I'm getting a little nervous just watching this. Yeah. Because oh, that was excellent great positioning. Um, plus the raid, that was a very clear kill. Yeah. Um, the tipper, the like, every, the stars aligned. Yeah, a really great placement there from, uh, from Heldu. I think, uh, again though, Kitty Kong really just needs to focus in on, like, Ooh. getting in close, not worrying so much about that range. That bear's not gonna kill quite yet, but I feel like the next one might if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't get the sour spot. Or the late hitbox, I should say. Oh, Good dash, dash attack. Tag. Yeah, um, monkey flip kick. Haldu does have two stocks, so uh, this will kill, though. It's um, no, no, quite. it won't. It's entirely possible. You're right. I see what you're thinking. The dare. Yeah, I was going to say, as long as this will kill. That should um, have killed. No. Whoa. Okay, some good. Uh, some, I some, guess it's too stale. Some good DI from Haldu. Yeah, I suppose after the last one, it, it, it's a little stale. Interesting. Um, Haldu at Just 200. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Um, not you know, like this. Max Rage. This could be very bad for Kitty Kong. Could be like... Oh, back, back throw. No, it's center stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, center stage. Kitty Kong can't catch a break. Oh, but that Just late, as you say that it, late fair. A very good fair. There is the there is the break he needed to catch. Yeah. I think what... Heldu has Kitty Kong at a 80, we could say. Go. Oh, okay. Is, um... Oof, he wanted that. Oh, can he make it back? Uh, yeah, yes, he, no, can. he can. He can, he can. Kong is at almost 100 now, and uh, yeah. he needs to start figuring this out. I think what Kitty Kong has to focus on is actually getting Corrin more off stage. Oh. Now that Heldu doesn't have a second stock, he's probably going to be less confident off stage. So I think what he can do is definitely, oh. okay. Definitely he has the banana there. I was wondering, like, maybe you go for an Angel Cortez. Oh, that could have been bad. Oof. Okay, good, That's good down smash from Kitty Kong. I think. Oh, yeah. I think. I think this might be it. This. Oh, he's using the. Oh, oh yeah. Oh damn. Yeah. Forcing Whoa. him to use that back air and up B again, but Kitty Kong was ready. Excellent, excellent dare from Kitty Kong.